For the following exercises, find the domain of each function using interval notation, an inequality, and a number line if possible. All right, so just remember guys, the main idea of what domain is, all right? That the domain is simply the possible input values for x generally uh, that a function is allowed to have. So when we take a look at our first example, uh, we realize we are dealing with a cubed root, okay? So we have to think, are there any limitations of a value that we can take the cube root of? Meaning what's ever under the cube root here is, could it be positive, could it be negative? Or does it exclude certain items? And the answer actually is no, meaning that it has no restrictions. Cube roots have no restrictions if we're just dealing with a plain old vanilla cube root, all right? For example, if I, you can take the cube root of a positive or a negative value, okay? Um, for example, if we were to look at the cube root of let's say 27, so you're thinking to yourself, well, what number multiplied by itself three times would give me 27? And the answer to that would be uh, three, right? That's the cube root. Also though, I can take the cube root of negative 27, okay? Because I'm asking myself, what number times itself three times would give me negative 27? And that answer is negative three now, all right? So you can take the cube root of a negative number, unlike a square root. You cannot take the square root of 27. It's impossible. All right. No number times itself will give you a negative number. All right. So uh, that being the case, we realize the why now that cube roots have no restrictions, basically. So now we can begin to develop our uh, notations. All right. No restriction, meaning it can go all the way from negative infinity, meaning the x value all the way from negative infinity to positive infinity. So now that being the case, right, our interval notation will be simply from negative infinity, comma, positive infinity. These parentheses mean exclusive of the value. You can never include um, infinity. Okay, it's, it's an idea, not a real number. In terms of the, int, so this is the interval notation. In terms of the inequality, once you have the interval notation here, it's simple, just plug in your x in the middle, meaning, that it can go from negative infinity and that will be less than x and then x will be less than infinity, right? This is your inequality now, okay, for the domain. All right, and then last but not least, we can create now our number line. And if we create our number line, right, we draw a little arrows here, here's the value of zero. This is negative infinity out there all the way to positive infinity on the right. And we realize that it's all real numbers and it includes Negative infinity, not includes, excuse me, it excludes, but it goes all the way out to negative infinity uh, to positive infinity. All right, so now taking a look at the next one, let's see if we can run through this. All right, so the next one, look, we're taking a cube root, okay? And remember, there's no restrictions. There's nothing else going on here. X can be whatever number I want. It can be uh, because the total here can be a negative value or a positive value, right? So there are no restrictions and therefore the answer is literally the same as we found over here. So all I'm gonna do is just simply copy and paste this, all right, just to save a little time. So that's all your notation. And now look, similarly over here, right? There's nothing going on here, nothing crazy. I can plug in whatever number I want for T. It could be negative or positive. Cube root of a negative is fine. Cube root of a positive is fine. No restrictions whatsoever. So guess what? It's also the same answer there. All right. So guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope this video helped. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you next time.